Hello YouTube, this is your host Tim Team 18 underscore 2, and I made a TARDIS. That's right. But I didn't just make a TARDIS cozy. Let's go inside. I made the TARDIS interior, modeled after 9 and 10's TARDIS. Pretty cool. There's actually some functionality to it. I've also added Darwolf's, uh, Darwolf 20's portal code. I've also reversed engineered it to fit 1.5.2 uh, Feed the Beast Unleashed uh, also on server. So what I'm going to do is walk you through how it basically works and the setup that you need to run it on any server. Uh, now I will leave links to the pastebin codes down in the description below and with that let's get started. Now, for those of you that know Direwolf 20's uh, portal code, uh, you basically have an idea of how this works, but for the uh, for other people that don't know, I'm going to show it to you. So what this does is that you go up to here and click a button, and that will lead to a destination. Notice that this just uses one portal frame. And it leads me to my house. So let's go back inside and choose another destination. Let's say Digger 2. And we're going through the exact same portal frame. And here we are. We have arrived at a different time, in a different space, and a different dimension. So essentially, we've traveled through space and time. Pretty neat. And so what this does is that the computer tells a turtle hidden underneath the portal frame to take a book out of a chest out of a, a slot in the chest and to put it into the book receptacle here to activate the portal for a limited time. And that's the basic functions of the portal frame. And I've also added uh from Direwolf's uh, 1.6.2 update of the portal code is page functions, which uh, turns the page if there's more than eight books on this screen. Uh, it's, I've edited the original code to fit my needs, and you can too if you, fig if you can figure it out, but I'm not that great of an explainer, so I don't want to bother with, with it. I'm sorry. And then there's also remove book and refresh. So if you want to remove a book, uh, all you have to do is click that once and then click another name to remove it, but I'm not going to do it uh, right now. And so what it will do is that the computer will tell the turtle to take a book and send it down the line to this chest, to the book removal bin. And then you can uh, get your book from the chest. And then it will erase the, the name, uh, the data from that book, from the system here. If you want to add a book to the system, all you have to do is drop the book in here, and it'll uh, take that book into the chest below. Now, I haven't gotten it to the point where it automatically rescans the chest to, to, to detect new books, and that's why the, uh, there's this refresh button here, but this refresh button will always be here. So you can uh, click this button out. Oh, something is wrong. You can click that refresh button. It'll, fl it'll flash green. Oh, there we go. You can click that to manually refresh, and it'll check that chest down there for any new books that come through. And the computer will ask you to name that book when it detects a new book. So that's basically how the portal functions. Now let's go see the setup outside. And see how it's set up. And for this, you will need the following mods. You'll need Miscraft, Computercraft, and Open Peripherals, obviously. I'm not sure about Miscellaneous Peripherals, and I'm not sure what that adds to uh, Computercraft and Open Peripherals code-wise, but I would play it safe and add that too, as we have that on the server as well. You will also need two chests, uh, one to store the books. It can be, it can also support 
um, the iron chest mod, iron, gold, diamond, obsidian, you name it. Essentially, this can receive, this can be a larger chest if needs be. You also need a chest to dump your books in into when you want to remove books. And also, you will need a factorization router uh, module. This is currently the only known item to remove books from book receptacles and place them back into the chest. And finally, you will need some sort of piping system. Now, it can be from any mod, but it needs to be pipes. And if you're using buildcraft, uh, I wouldn't exactly use a normal wooden pipe here because it, the wooden pipes are too slow and if one if someone pops out of the portal that they've just if someone uh, selects a portal goes in comes right back out and then selects another one uh, the book that was just pulled out can be uh, can be still be here it just slowly going through the pipe while another book is pulled through the system and put into that into that uh, book receptacle, and at the same time, that book will fill that other book's slot, and it can mess up the system. And that's why I don't use a wooden pipe. I use uh, this transfer node right here because it's much faster, and you want a faster pipe than a wooden pipe. And there's one more thing before I want to wrap this up. I want to show you guys the most difficult parts that I had to change in order to get this to work. Uh, a function is called check slots, and it was kind of the main function behind the whole system. I'm not going to explain, uh, like, I, I, like I've said earlier, I'm not going to explain what this exactly does, but I can at least show you the function and where it's at in the code. But of course, you can see it in the pasting codes on the site there too. And so there, there's all that. What this is basically is doing is it's asking four different questions in a continuous uh, if-then-else statements. So it's four if statements in a while true, do, true do, uh, while true loop just to check through all the inventory slots. And so let's exit out, reboot, so I don't forget that later. I'm missing a couple block for that door. And so, if we come over here, this can help me explain it a little bit better. So I have a table set up um, that that shows the functionality of check slots. And so here at the top of the table, we have data, which represents uh, the the uh, table that's stored in the in the turtle and the turtle calls from another file from uh, locks. Now locks stores all the information of uh, that is recorded from the chest slots. So it's checking through all the slots if, in the inventory and it marks down if there is a, if there is something in that chest or not. That's that's kind of what it does. Again, I'm not great at explaining. But uh, data is the table or the brain or let's use the brain of the of the turtle and I represents the slot number but uh, I'm not going to use that entirely uh, moving on uh, slot data represents the information in the chest in that particular slot so if there's something in that in that in a particular slot in the chest it will say there is something in this chest, it will not equal nil. And so let's run through these questions. So if there's something in the turtle in the turtle's brain, or, or if there's nothing in the turtle's brain, if there's nothing in the chest slot, it will say, it will, uh, say that there's nothing in the slot, so we want to skip that. If there's uh, something in the turtle's brain, but if there's nothing in the slot, then we want to erase that name. And if there's uh, something in the chest, but there's nothing in the brain, we then we found a new book, and we want to assign a name to that uh, new book that we found. 
if there's something in the brain and there's something in the chest, then we generally want to skip it because uh, the turtle may think it's a new, an ex it's a, an existing book or a piece of cobblestone. That's a general book. If something is put into the input chest, and if it's put into the system, the system will think it's a a uh, new book. I'll have to fix this later. But that's basically it for for all of this. Uh, before we truly wrap this up, I want to thank a couple of people who helped me out on this. Uh, Sick Hippie, who helped me uh, with the coding. We've worked on this for about five days, and he's been a great help to this project. Uh, thank you, Sick Hippie, again for doing this. And especially, and especially to Direwolf20 for providing the code. Uh, uh, without it, I don't think I would have accomplished this on my own, uh, or something like that. I don't think this would have ever been done in 1.5.2 without him. So thank you, Direwolf20, for for doing this. Uh, so with that, I'll leave the the Reddit link in the description below, and also the three paste bin codes that you need. So if you if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, uh, please do comment below. This has been your host, TamTam18R score two, and I'll see you guys next time.